me a P flat, baby. Sing with me. Hello, I'm Bishop David Martin. You know, the Bible says that a merry heart doeth good like a medicine. What you're about to see is going to bless your pure heart. Laughter, something that we do very little of, especially the people of God. Many of us have come out of religious backgrounds and religious and traditional affiliations that did not allow us to laugh. It was almost taboo, it was almost anti-God sacrilege for us to laugh. I thank God, God has favored me to pastor a wonderful, incredible woman of God. Her call into the kingdom is to not preach the gospel, is to not be a heralder or a proclaimer of scriptures. It is the gift of laughter. And there's absolutely no one who's more gifted nor anointed by God than Lady Trina Jeffries, a.k.a. Sister Cantlow. I want you to sit back and enjoy. This is my daughter in the Lord. I'm so proud of her. Enjoy this. God bless you. Tonight, we are honored to be a part of a live recording. Say live recording. And, and it is, it is a, because I think some in the body of Christ, and we're so, we're, when we do want to laugh and get somebody to entertain us, it's so perverted. Uh, you know, I heard about something called Deaf Comedy Jams. I, I, I heard about it. All right, all right, I stopped by just for a moment to see what, <laughs> what it was about. And you're sitting there and you bought a TV for somebody to cuss you out while you're laughing at it. <laughs> and just feed you and pump you up with all that mess and that nastiness, and then you, you be wondering why you act like you act. <laughs> and so I am honored tonight that this is a young woman who has, oh God, She's been here a couple of times. She has blessed this congregation. She has blessed the nation. She is somebody that God has raised up for such a time as these. And, and tonight, she's just going to just have us laying on the floor with laughter, et cetera. But, but I, I want you to know that there's even, even when she, there's a serious side of drama that she has that it's all, it's, 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 it, if I tell you, if you ain't saved, ain't converted, ain't living right, when you get, when she get through with you, it's just the way the spirit of the Lord moves in and through her. She could be doing anything. She can go over to the secular side and just, just make all kind of money, but she's been raised in a godly home. And she's sold out to God. And I want you to stand on your feet right now to receive <laughs> Sister Trina Jeffries, better known as Sister Cantaloupe. Come on and receive her tonight. Come on and bless God. Well, maybe two or three, <laughs> but ain't nobody else say but me. <laughs> Woo! Don't nobody love him like I do. <laughs> Don't nobody love him like I do. Uh. Don't nobody love him well. Maybe you and you. <laughs> But don't nobody else love him like I do. Oh, come on.
on, put your hands together. Uh. Ain't nobody say but me. Ain't nobody say but me. service today. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Oh, praise God. <laughs> praise God. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Lord of Jesus, Lord of Jesus. Ooh, Lord. Hello, Esther. Hey, baby. It's me, Sister Cantaloupe. Yes, baby, from the church. Girl, I'm blessed of the Lord and the highly favored of God. <laughs> Girl, you know this is the year of Jubilee. Woo, yes, sir, huh? What was last year? <laughs> Felt like it was Spike Lee, <laughs> Muhammad Ali, and Bruce Lee, baby. <laughs> I was fighting every devil out of hell, girl. <laughs> yes, sir. But I'm glad to be here. Yeah, where am I? Girl, I'm in Atlanta. Atlanta! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> I'm at Bishop Ed Lowe's church! messing with the offering pan. But get away from the offering pan. Bad children at, at El, uh, 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 New Bird. Get, get away from the offering pan. Get, get, are you gonna put anything in it? Then get away from it. I ain't your mama. Well, I ain't your psychic either, but I can see in the spirit. You gonna need a band-aid. Cause baby, I'm gonna knock you out and pray you back, okay? <laughs> Lord have mercy. Huh? Some little bit, hold on, my mama. Oh yeah, well your mama got one out of peg leg and that's why they call her I hop, all right? All right? You know what I'm Stunning in life. 
God is smiling at the sky. <laughs> Why? She thank God taking her pictures. <laughs> What you looking for? What you looking for? What you looking for? <laughs> Listen. That's all right. That's all right. I got a man. I got a man. I got a man. I got a man. <laughs> but ladies, you, because see, I was lost a long time. I was lost. Because the Bible said a man that findeth a wife. So I was lost. <laughs> Been lost a long time. But, but you know, ladies, you gotta be careful what you ask the Lord for. You gotta be careful. Cause he'll give you. My prayers used to be, my prayers used to be, Lord, send him tall, dark, and handsome. Then I got discouraged because he wasn't sitting. I said, Lord, he could be short, red, and wrinkled. I don't care. And God said him short, red, and wrinkled. He about three, six. Got a wooden leg, and he broke it. <laughs> but we super glued it back on. <laughs> but we put it on backwards. Now he walking, going, coming and going. He just... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> but he mine. Shut up. A lot of y'all still say I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Who else I'm back? Girl, yes, huh? Now cousin Q come a gone, girl. Yeah, she come calling me the other day. My own cousin come calling me the other day talking about, girl, 
I've been reading my word. I said, good. she been, you know, visiting uh, 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 Bishop Eddie Long's church. I, I knew she was here. I didn't just know she was coming. She, been, she said, I've been reading my word. I said, I'm glad about that, girl. She said, yeah, and I just found out that God had a call. I said, hold on, baby. <laughs> now, God had a cow on a thousand hills. And he had, a, he had houses in land, but I ain't read nowhere where God had a call. She said, yes, he did. God got a call. I said, how do you, how do you figure God got a call? She said, it says right there in Genesis 3 and 24, God drove Adam and Eve out the garden in a barren. Right. Now, now you're calling back on today 
Well, guess what? I still ain't got no money. And let me just serve your notice on tomorrow. I still won't have no money. But such as I have, I'll give unto thee, I'll give you G. See, they get off the phone every time. All from Jesus, they get off the phone. <laughs> hey, hey, Elsa, huh? Yeah, be a collector. Shoot, I told him Jesus paid it all, so I don't owe no more. <laughs> girl, yeah, get off the mind, bad, huh? Yeah, oh, back to my cousin Cucumber. Girl, I took her to Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Y'all shut up, y'all been to Las Vegas. I accidentally bumped into a machine and a quarter fell out my pocket. I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, went to Las Vegas. My cousin Q come, you know her mind bad. Went to the uh, and you know, when you get off the plane, they already have them little machines. They're already just waiting on you, just want your money. Ain't nothing but demon machines just say, come here, give me your money, give me your money. So my cousin Q come and jumped off the plane, ran to the first machine she saw. Put a dollar in, a Coke fell out. Put another dollar in, a Coke fell out. She just jumping up and down. Ah! Put another dollar in, a Coke fell out. Ah! Put another dollar in, another Coke fell out. Ah! The security guard came up and said, baby, what are you doing? She's talking about winning. <laughs> Y'all, we had to take 15 coats home with us. You know her mind bag, girl. <laughs> yeah. Huh? <laughs> God, God asked her a lot. I'm going to talk to these people in my yard. God asked her a lot. So, so. Elsa had to talk on another phone. I'm gonna talk to y'all. Lord have mercy, y'all look good. All of y'all, y'all look real good. And, and men, if you know you look good, make some noise. <laughs> Sit down. Sit down, that's tight. Women, let's show them how to really make some noise. Women, if you look good, make some noise. No, we just checking the mirror, just checking the mirror, just checking. The but women, we've been deceived though. We've been deceived because we have stood in line for a long time for makeup. We stood in line a long time for, for clothes. We stood a long time for shoes. And we've been standing in the wrong line, y'all. Because we've been deceived. You know what really, really been making us look wonderful? It was hair all the time. It was hair. And there you stood patiently in line for that dress, and that's a nice dress, for those shoes, and those are beautiful shoes, but it was hair, mm. It was hair, mm. oh, all the time. And ain't nothing wrong with adding a little hair if you can't sew it, if you can't grow it, sew it. If you can't achieve it, weave it. <laughs> but long as you ain't bald headed one day and got hair down to your ankles the next. Let's be believable. Put in an inch a month. At least let people think you're growing it. <laughs> and listen, we are still deceived. We're still deceived because ain't no wrong with putting a little hair in your hair. You know, they call it weed. Go ahead. We're going to say the name. Everybody's scared to say it. Now, weed. We put weed. Touch so your name and say weed. weed. But you're still deceived. <laughs> because how come women, uh huh, that wear braids, uh huh, thank you, don't wear weed? <laughs> if you didn't grow it, from the root top, it's a wave. Oh, you don't believe me, do you? How come women, ah, uh, that wear phony tails, 
ta, thank you, don't wear wing. Ta, if you didn't grow it, ta, from the root, ta, it's a wing. If you didn't, Good. from the Good. it's a we. oh now you believe me. <laughs> Y'all remember Kirk, right? Y'all remember Kirk? He's standing there. <laughs> Y'all can't see him. Hold on. There he is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Kirk Franklin wrote a song. I'll rearrange it again for my own protection. It says, someone asked the question, why do I wear a weave? I don't like straightening combs, and it covers up my BBs. Well, I guess you may be wondering, uh -huh, why don't I just buy a wig? <laughs> Y'all, I look and look and look for one. My head is just too big. <laughs> I weave because I'm nappy. I weave because I'm gray. <laughs> and sometimes I just take a little shoe polish <laughs> and paint the gray away. <laughs> oh, I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. You think that's why my hair turned gray? I believe I can soar. I see me walking in the Chinese store. <laughs> 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 Asking for weed in a sack. And you better know what you want or you won't get your money back. <laughs> One B, two B, what are you, girl? One B? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Look, man, I got on what we. Yes, you do. I say, yes, you do. Put your hands down. Anyway, <laughs> girl, I'm back, Esther. Huh? Your mother line ring? Well, hold on, baby. Hold on, sweetie. Hold on. I'm sorry. Hold on. I don't know why people keep calling me on my cell like a phone. <laughs> Hello. Hey, sweetie, how you doing? Oh, girl, I'm blessed of the Lord and highly favored of God. Who is this? Oh, hey. <laughs> Sister the big head. <laughs> How you doing? Girl, no, yeah. I'm, I'm in Atlanta. Yes. Oh, it's after church. Yes. Just walking around talking to the peoples. Uh-huh. Huh? You need prayer. You need me to stop right here after church and talk and pray for you. I mean, just stop what I'm doing. I'm way in Atlanta. You on my cell phone, and you want me to stop and pray for you. Okay. All right, I I'm going to do it because, because I'm a woman of God, okay? And this is the year of Jubilee, and I promise to do right, okay? I'm going to pray for you. You, you buy your eyes and close your head. Because, <laughs> girl, I'm going to pray until the Lord himself come down. I'm going to pray until we shake our hell foundation. Buy your head, girl, buy your head. Lord, you know. All right, you're going to believe in God, okay? <laughs> no, God already knows. I don't have to tell him nothing. All right, bye-bye. No. <laughs> hey, Elsa, I'm back. Get out, Sister Big Head. You remember Sister Big Head? Yeah, the one with them twins. Girl, yes, she's in the hospital. The hospital? Yes, child. No, her husband didn't put her in there this time. No, her daddy did this time. <laughs> no, her the husband been getting along. I've been praying for her. her husband getting along. Her daddy just don't like her husband. Yeah, ain't like them since they've been married. Mm -mm. Now, listen here. I'm not gossiping. I'm just sharing. since they've been married, girl. No, but she's been standing by him. She, she stood by him when the daddy sick the dogs on him. She stood by him when the daddy tried to run him over with a car. 
she still buying one of daddy's shot at it. But the husband ducked and she did, now she's in the hospital. Pray for her! <laughs> pray for her, girl, pray for her. Yeah, she the one with them ugly twins. Girl, well, they're not as ugly as they used to be. Yeah, ugly and uglier. They're not as ugly as they used to be. Yeah, they're, they're about 12 years old now. They got their first tooth. <laughs> they still ugly, huh? Girl, I told them they're gonna get a job snapping hoes and donuts. Cause I tell y'all! children, sometimes you don't remember. <laughs> you, you know, you, you, I'm, not a, I'm not a bad woman. I'm a woman of God. I don't mind keeping people, but I got really got... Listen, y'all, I'm like mom and pop whiners. I got so many children, I done ran out of names for my children. I be saying, come here, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, F, F, G, G, A, 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 J, J. <laughs> Hold on, let me tell them about the cheer. You already know us. Let me tell the people about the cheer. Hold on, baby. I'm gonna put the phone where you can hear. <laughs> Y'all, these children are ugly. Y'all, the cheer is so ugly, I gotta take a Tylenol just to look at them, okay? <laughs> the cheer are ugly. Listen, have you ever saw ugly walking in your house twice? It's like, oh! Up. I said, hold on. <laughs> Boy, I come up on you like a bunion, okay? <laughs> you won't know I'm there till you put your shoe on, okay? <laughs> I said, well, how big was the woman? Says, Sister Callo, she was so big, if she leaned on Jesus, he'd fall. <laughs> I said, the woman was big. <laughs> but y'all be all right, y'all be all right, because she didn't go to y'all church. She was visiting, praise God. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, this little boy, he, I said, so, 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 how you get the black? I said, 
and she was sitting in the back of the church and, and Bishop started preaching and she got happy. And you know, all the, all, the, all the dress that was sitting on the chair, when she got up, it gathered in the back. And she had a wedgie. I said, a what? A wedgie. A wedgie. Stand up, Sean, and show her what I'm talking about. Stand up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so he said she looked uncomfortable, so I pulled it out. And she hit me. I said, boy, boy, I can understand how you got one black eye, but how you get the second black eye? He said, I figured she was mad about it, so I stuck it back in and she hit me again. Get on out my face. Who love? Y'all heard me sing a while ago, didn't you? Y'all love my singing? Shut up. Y'all tell the story. Y'all don't love my singing. If you love my singing, give me a hand. Good. Hush it up. Y'all don't love my singing. Can I sing again? Good, because I was going to do it anyway. I was, you know, have you ever thought about what a musician go through or been through when they write a song? Have you ever just, just wondered what was going on in their mind? Like, like Bishop. Bishop. You write songs, don't you? <laughs> oh, you don't? Okay, I'm sorry. Anyway, <laughs> you, you sing songs, right? I'm sorry again. <laughs> That's okay. I love you like a play cousin. We right here. We both can't sing. Anyway, have you ever thought about what a musician go through or been through when they write a song? Like, like, like this musician must have all of a, all of a sudden had amnesia. He just, he was writing one day and all of a sudden he just lost his mind. He was just writing. He, and he said, he said, mm, this, this sounds good right here. Call his name, Jesus. Call his name, Jesus. Call his name, Jesus. Call his name, Jesus. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Excuse me. I had some sisters scared us today, and they're coming back to haunt me. <laughs> I, I know that y'all don't have this problem here, but in, in most churches, because y'all ain't got no room here, in most, in most churches, how come church people sit at the back of the church? What they think the pulpit gonna fall on them? <laughs> pastor, we said, come on down, baby, fill in the pews. You're gonna know, thank you, Pastor. I can hear you from here. <laughs> you can't walk and chew bubble gum at the same time. Now you finna hear and see. And the pastor just preaching, Jesus huh, is in the room. Huh, he's sweeping through the building. Huh, huh. You about to go, what he say? What he say? <laughs> Your friend's talking, I don't know if somebody Jesus need a broom to sweep out the building, all right? <laughs> Your kettle talk on bell? I don't know. <laughs> and I go, this is the only place you can do this and people know what that means. Make me disappear all of this? <laughs> you can't go 
going to your job and do this. <laughs> they put you out. You don't see people walking down the supermarket like this. <laughs> Picking up items, putting them in the basket. <laughs> what is this? It's the only place we can do this and get away with it. <laughs> I'm on. <laughs> I rebuke you in the name of you. You ain't gonna make me fall. <laughs> oh, and, and I wanna talk to y'all today. I wanna talk to y'all today. Esther, hold on. She she been holding on for years. I wanna talk to y'all today about faith and miracles. Faith and miracles. Now, let's talk about miracles first. Miracles are things that happen that you don't expect to happen. Am I right? Now, the first miracle that I could think of that would happen is Noah and the boat. Noah and the boat. The big miracle, I'm going to talk to you about the little miracle. The big miracle is Noah built the boat, right? Without a blueprint. <laughs> <laughs> it had never rained, right? How do you know how to build a boat, okay? That was a miracle, to build a boat without a blueprint. And to also get two fleas, two flies, two mosquitoes, two... <laughs> Catch the mosquitoes. Come here, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> and the flies. What did he do? Not wave himself or something? Not wash his body and brought them in? How did he get the mosquitoes and flies in there? <laughs> the rest, the roaches. Why would he want to bring roaches on anyway? They're going to come anyway. Why would you bring them on the boat? Roaches are going to be there anyway. <laughs> well, when he got to the boat, the roaches was waving at him. Come on in. <laughs> We've been waiting on you. And the dogs and the cats. He got everybody in the boat. Close the door. That was another miracle. You got cows, horses, sheep, donkeys. You got all that stuff <laughs> in a boat with the door closed. <laughs> that's a miracle. But that's not the big miracle. The big, the little miracle. That's the big miracle. The little miracle is he built a boat and it had never rained for 40 days. Right? I mean, for 40 years. I'm sorry, I see 40 days. I'm thinking about uh, Moses. Days and years. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about, Bishop. <laughs> it had never rained before he built this boat, in other words. So if it had never rained before he built a boat, what grew the tree? What grew the tree to build a boat? That's the little miracle. Now let's talk about faith. Faith is that Jesus died on the cross, and you got to believe that. He died on the cross, hanging between two thieves. That was some faith to hang between two thieves and still have your clothes on, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's standing on the cross, hanging between two thieves. That was faith. And, 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 and they took him down, they put him in a barber tomb, and they... They, they, the stone was rolled away, and on the third day, he rose. That was great faith, great, great miracles. But where's the little faith in it? The little faith is the man that loaned Jesus a tomb. That's the faith. Because that man had to go home to his wife and say, Honey, you remember that tomb we were going to get buried in? I loaned it out to a fella. Why you gonna loan out to him out? Out in two a two of fellas. And he said, Faith, don't worry about it, baby. He ain't gonna use it for three days and then he's out of there. <laughs> that's faith, that's miracles. Listen, how, how many of y'all got children out there? How many of y'all got children? Woo, that's why this church so big. <laughs> sons. Woo, that's why this church so big. M mothers, you know daughters, you don't have to encourage them a lot. You could just say, baby, do this, do that, do that. And they sometimes get up and do it, sometimes they don't. But sons, you got to encourage them all the time, don't you? You got to encourage them to get up, take a bath. <laughs> get up, take a bath. Brush your teeth. Comb your hair. Here's your lunch. Go to school. Get a job. You. 
that's all right, push them along. <laughs> anyway, I got a son. Oh, Lord. My son went out, bought himself a car without asking nobody. Came home with it, ran in the house. Mama, mama got a car. I said, great, 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 great. What kind of car you get, baby? He said, come out, you got to see it. It's a classic. I said, okay. Ran out there to see the car. He said, I said, where is it? He said, there it is. I looked down at it. It was a Pinto. <laughs> a Pinto. You remember the Pinto beans? That's what it reminds me, a Pinto. Why would anybody get up, get a piece of paper and a pencil, and draw a Pinto and then build it? <laughs> a Pinto. An ugly hatchback Pinto. So he said, well, let's go for a ride. I said, OK. So I folded up my fat and got in. <laughs> and we ride down the road, and he had a nerve to have a silica phone in a pinto. <laughs> a silica phone in a pinto. Who you gonna call? <laughs> Ghostbusters, because this, this car is dead. <laughs> anyway, we ride down the road, and all of a sudden the phone rung. The car stopped, the lights came on, the windshield wipers flipped on, and the car flipped over. The car flipped over. Boy, this car is possessed. <laughs> so finally, we got the car back up on his heels. We riding down the road again. Stopped at the stop sign. The phone rang again. <laughs> the horn blew. The lights came on. The windshield wipers wiped. Then the car flipped over. <laughs> this time, when I woke up, <laughs> when I woke up unconscious, some men were there helping us put the car back up on his three wheels. <laughs> and you know, men, y'all are so discovery. Y'all are so discovery. He said, looks like you got a flat. <laughs> I said, no, it's not a flat. The other three just swole up. <laughs> so after we get the car ready to go, stuff, Bishop, we got the car, <laughs> blow the tire up. It was Madame Mattel. We blew it up. <laughs> it was ready to go. When we get out to get in the car, the men wanted to take the car. The men wanted to take me and my son's car. Well, his car. And he's like, no, nah, you know, men get bad. No, you ain't taking my car. I said, don't worry about it, baby, let him take it. No, mama, I ain't gonna let him take it. I said, don't worry about it, let him take it. So they jumped in the car, went on down the road. <laughs> I pulled out my silica phone. Run and you know the car had backfired and BOW! Everybody hit the ground. <laughs> Baby, I thought we were doing the drive by. <laughs> and then this man <laughs> ran to our door and I locked it. <laughs> he said, Mama, what you like to do for? I don't know this man, he's trying to hijack us again. <laughs> he said, Mama, it's the ballet part. <laughs> then he ran around to the, and it backfired again. The man ran around, ro we rolled the window down. The ballet part gave my son five dollars to park his own car. <laughs> And speaking of, speaking of children, speaking of children, y'all remember when we were little? You know, I, I, I understand why adults now are crazy. I really do. I understand why we are crazy. Because of the nursery rhymes we used to sing when we were kids. That's why we crazy. What was those, Bishop, was those people on crack when they wrote our nursery rhymes? <laughs> what did, what did, it just, you know, what was they doing? You know, I know it was the 60s or the 70s or whatever it was when they was writing them or the 19, 1890s or whatever it was. But they wrote songs like, uh, ooh, I, I want a piece of pie. <laughs> the pie too sweet, I want a piece of meat. <laughs> the meat too tough, I want to ride a bus. <laughs> the bus too full, I want to ride a bull. <laughs> the bull too black, I want my money. You remember this song? 369. <laughs> <laughs> the goose drank wine. The monkey hitched his car on the streetcar line. The line broke. Wonder why. The monkey got choked. And how with the heaven in a little rowboat? <laughs> what were they thinking of? And these, these are classics. And this one I love. Cause this one had a speech impediment when
what he was writing. <laughs> he had a speech impediment. He said, oh, Mary Mac. Mac Mac. <laughs> I'm dressed in black. Black, black. <laughs> With silver buttons. Button buttons. <laughs> Up and down her back. Back, back. <laughs> she asked her mother. Mother, mother. <laughs> for 15 cents. church or not? I ain't never, Sister B, Beatrice, Sister Beatrice Gordon is out in the audience. Sister B, did, we never asked our mama, told our mama, hey, what did your mama tell you? You going to church. You knew you were going to church Saturday night. What was you doing? Getting your clothes together. <laughs> you knew Sunday morning you were going to church. Some pe parents now say, are you going to Sunday church tomorrow? What? <laughs> My mama will walk in the door and flip the lights on and the covers back at the same time. She be like, well, fire! <laughs> and then walk up in the door, bust it down. Right? And then she look at you like she was on a sword maker. Oh, you still sleep? I'll be back. You had choices when she came back, didn't you? You had a choice between a belt, a pad, a skillet. <laughs> Which one do you want to get beat with? And then some of y'all came in late. Y'all remember coming in late, like 6 o'clock in the morning? Oh, no, I like you been saved all your life. You came in late. 6 o'clock in the morning, she was in your room at 7. <laughs> Flipping on the lights and church breakfast curtain, everything at the same time. And she coming out, and she be like Martin Luther King and Shirley Caesar. I have a dream. <laughs> I had a dream that you was out all night long. You were out doing the jelly roll, the Tootsie Pop, the cabbage patch. <laughs> but I have another dream <laughs> that you're going to church this morning. <laughs> and then Shirley will walk in and say, now hold my mule. <laughs> Because you're going to 8 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 12 o'clock, YWCC and BTU. <laughs> and just when you thought you were going home, we're going to tear it all night long. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, and then you, you, your mamas, your mamas, your mamas, the mamas today, the mamas today, ask their children what they get for Christmas. What you want for Christmas? We, we were glad to get what we got. One time I got a wooden doll. A wooden doll that had painted the face on. Actually, it was a stick, because I know it because I broke it. <laughs> and I was glad to get it. My grandchild coming in talking about, I want some Nikes. I said, how much is Nikes? She's talking about $150. I said, all my shoes together don't cost no $150. <laughs> bring me your own ones. She running up, bringing them to me. I took out a big marker, check them off. <laughs> check the hat. She told my granny, now how am I going to wear this to school? I said, turn around, just do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, we got to stop our children from looking at all this late night television. We've got to stop our children from looking at all, that's what's corrupting our children. saying all the television shows at night are bad. Don't get me wrong. I love Jenny Jones since she done changed it, since she let me on there. <laughs> I was on the Jenny Jones show. Y'all didn't see me there. I, you saw me? Ah, give me a shout out. Give me a shout out. Ah, ah. But, but I'm not saying just she good. There's a lot of them good, but, but with these late night 
black television, the one that come on like after dark and all that stuff right there. You know that shout out Jesse Ruffy Ellie? <laughs> Geraldo. And y'all, we gonna have to throw Ricky in the lake, okay? <laughs> Cause she got all our children on her face. She got, she got gay people coming out the closet. People coming out the closet. Baby, if my child would've come out the closet, I'd beat him back in there until he came out right, okay? <laughs> Girl came on there, I thought it was a boy. Coming on there looking crazy. Talking about she gay and she born that way and she don't know what to do. Well, baby, I got news for you. If you're gay and born that way, just be born again. I could do my own show. And y'all know they got that psychic hotline now, Pastor. Saints to stop calling on the Lord and start calling this psychic hotline. Want to know they future. Crazy, that's what you're going to be in the future. Crazy. <laughs> calling this psychic hotline. What do they know that the pastor don't know? What can they tell you that God can't tell you? <laughs> Pay your tithes and ye shall be blessed. The girl, will a man rob God? She told me, in my neighborhood, take everything he got. <laughs> I'm so mad I called a psychic hotline. Shut up, it was free. <laughs> I said, man, I speak to Dion Warlock. I'm sorry, sorry, Warwick. <laughs> Typical late night show. So children, y'all close your ears. No, I'm just kidding. This is all gospel, all Christian. Uh, I, I, I need some. I need. Some. Come here, boy. You've been looking at me all night. Here. Come here. Yes, you. Why were you pointing at people that go who me? Yes, you. Come here. Come here. Come here. You look like big rugged. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you, are you strapped? <laughs> you know y'all had a secret angel man. Y'all had a secret angel man here at Newburgh. I, you, 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 got, you got your ear on? You got, you got to sit there, don't you? I, I know, you got the eye on me. I've been seeing you. I've been seeing you. <laughs> That's all right. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Behind me. Come here, come here, son. Come here, come here. I'm just doing a, doing a typical regular show. And I, I need some, my, my two girls that came and saw me today. They came and, came and spoke to me today. Come here, babies. The two babies that came and saw me today, right here. Yeah, you and, and the other baby. Come here, where, where your friend at? Hurry up, baby, I ain't got all night. <laughs> we about to roll out of tape. All right, sweetie, you right here on the, on the end right here with the leopard. Come here, sweetie, yeah, you. The one that says me. Everybody that says me, that's the one I want. Come here. <laughs> all right, come here, we, 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 come on. Come on over here, don't be scared, I ain't gonna bite you. Yeah. Okay, you get in between now. Turn around, turn around to the oil. Don't, don't look at me. <laughs> turn around to the oil. You come here, don't be scared, don't be scared. She's not gonna bite you. Okay. okay. What do you want? <laughs> I know, but okay. All right, stay here. I'm gonna create something. Who? By the way, y'all, that's my mother sitting in the audience right there. Say hi to my mom. Man, the Valley. She came on the show right here. She came on the show right here to tell this boy right here how much she love him. <laughs> I love your ears. I love the way your teeth shine. I love your jacket. She, why she couldn't have just called him on the phone? <laughs> we got email now. She could have emailed you, beeped you, but she had to come on the show to tell you all of this right here, just to be on TV <laughs> and her dirty laundry. And she came on the show to back her up. <laughs> no purpose, no purpose. Just the way she came up, no purpose. Oh, you got me, yeah. So she came on the show to be ghetto fabulous. <laughs> Turn around, 
not looking at you like y'all mad at each other. They fight over the knucklehead. <laughs> why don't they get the knucklehead in the middle? Okay. Why don't they get him? They just fight these two fight. But guess what? Why they fight? Guess what? He's in love with him. All right. <laughs> children, listen, we've got to take more care of our children and what they're doing. Y'all, they're taking prayer out of school, and the devil just walked right up in there. So I wrote a rap to, to commend this and, and say that we need to put prayer back in the school. And it goes a little something like this. I'm going to need y'all help. Y'all notice I don't have any music? So clap on time. <laughs> and it goes a little something like this. This clap. I'm going to rap, not tap dance. Slow it down a little bit. Slow it down. <laughs> All right, go like this. Listen. Hey. Listen. Hey. Listen. Listen, listen, listen. Listen up, babies, and this is no joke. This is a message from Sister Cantaloupe. You don't need marijuana. You don't need cocaine. All you need is the real thing, and that's Jesus. Uh. They take a prayer out of school, and that's Jesus. Uh. They take a prayer out of school. Now they're pushing this, and they're pushing that. And now they're pushing this stuff called crack. Well, you tell them, Sister Cantaloupe said, taking this stuff, you'll wind up dead. They say this stuff will make you feel fine. Make you want to spin your last time. They say this stuff will make you want to go. You look that devil in the eye and just say no. They take a prayer out of school, then let's put it back. Let's hand the devil back his hat. You pray to your God and I pray to mine. At least then we'll be right on time. They pledge allegiance to the flag and that's okay. But why can't we take out a little time to pray? Because on the mighty dollar bill it's saying God we trust. But we scared to take it on a little yellow school bus. The rooms in the house and you're playing basketball. Get on one accord and all the rest can be avoided. I have a dream, y'all. Uh, let's put prayer back in the school. Uh, now throw your hands in the air and let the Lord know that you can. And if you love cantaloupe and you love all her jokes, let me hear you say, oh yeah, y'all. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, y'all. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's say, go cantaloupe, go cantaloupe, go. So go cantaloupe. People ask me, how did Cantaloupe get started? Well, I started at a banquet. And I came in dressed up as a bag lady, just looking crazy, all kind of ways. Still didn't have a name for it, but I knew I wanted to make a statement without saying or making fun of anybody. So I came in banquet, and you know, on the table, they usually have like fruit salad and soup. So in the middle of my skit that I was performing that night, I looked at the table because I had asked myself a question. What's my name? Like you're asking. 
and I said my name, and I looked at the table, and I said, cantaloupe, Sister Cantaloupe from the church. And everybody just started spitting out cantaloupe and cantaloupe seeds everywhere, and tried to change the name, but cantaloupe stuck, and it rhymes with everything. Cantaloupe, dope, you know, okay. <laughs> Tasha, child, didn't nobody abduct her, did they? <laughs> child abduction. That's a good thing. Listen, you put leashes on your dogs. You put birds in a cage. You put fish in a bowl, but you let your children run wild. We need to stop that and keep our eye on our children. Now, let me put this in my mouth as I talk. All these children being adopted don't make no sense. You got to keep an eye on your child and a foot on their neck. All right? That's from Sister Cantaloupe. <laughs> you didn't hear me, though. Now, don't get me wrong, young peoples. I don't mind hip-hop music. I like to hop to the hip-hop and be bopping a and a shooper doo doo I love all that. But don't always just be hip-hopping. Sometimes hop your hip to the church and hum and sing a hymn. <laughs> you didn't hear me that. I'm often asked, how do I get my material? Where do I come up with these crazy thoughts or skits? And a lot of times, I get them from the pastors. Seeing them up in the pulpit, and they, they turn a phrase, or they'll say something that'll just click in my head, and I'm like, oh, give me a piece of paper, give me a pen, I gotta write this down. Oh, this will make a great, you know, something for Sister Cantaloupe to say. And a lot of times, it's not exactly what they say, it's how they say it and the phrase they use it, that I take it and I turn it around, and I ask Sister Cantaloupe the question, and to think, how would she respond in this particular situation? And when I'm on stage, I try it out, and if people love it, I keep working on it until I build it up into a situation. Now, I just want to make a statement to the president and to Miss Monica. Now, we know you did wrong, son, and we forgive you. But you know you broke one of the Ten Commandments. Thou shall have no other one man when you got a wife, okay? <laughs> and, uh, Monica, I just got six words for you. Wash that nasty dress and go home. Get on out of here. Goodbye. The church that I go to in Dallas, Gospel Tabernacle, we call it GT. Going to Gospel Tabernacle is crazy. The people there are just crazy. I love them. I love the worship there. I love going to Gospel Tabernacle. And I love my pastor, Bishop David E. Martin and First Lady Martin, Melody Martin. It is so wonderful going there with them. And they are retarded too. <laughs> I love watching my pastor preach. He's so dramatic. He's so animated that it just captures my attention and makes me write down a lot of things that he's talking about. But the worship side of it, he, I call him dad. And the reason I call him dad because he treats us all like sons and daughters. And he's taught me how to take God off the shelf and off of a mountaintop and bring him face to face and to know God for myself, to know him one on one. Now I have a relationship with God and not just a fellowship. Oh, excuse me. God bless my heart. I was, I was, I was dreaming about Y2K. You know, the, the new Malacca though. Uh, the year 200 and zero. Why 2K? That, that's a good question. Why 2K? I thought about it and I thought, why two cluts or two any cluts can tell you that the world is coming to an end and you believe it? You go pack up all your tuna fish cans and stuff like that, whole house smelling like fish, and you can't believe that the Lord is coming back again and you ain't prepared for that yet? How you gonna prepare for the molecular and you ain't prepared for the man? Uh. Mm, I feel that. Oh. Now, all you parents, I want you to gather around the television. I just want to talk to y'all face to eyes. You got to be careful what you say in front of your children. Had a little girl came over to my house the other day. Asked her how she was doing. She said, fine. Ask her how was her parents doing. They, she said, fine, the pastor's over to the house. I said, well, that's nice. She said, yes, it's election time. I'm thinking the pastor coming for election. She said, no, my parents want to be elected. 
I said, really? What they want to be elected to? Say, my father wants to be the first deacon. I said, well, that's good. What your mama want to be? She want to be the first lady. Got to be careful what you say to the children. That's all I got to say about that. I'm on my way out of here. I got a show to do. Goodbye. <laughs> I just want to say that I, as a person, really appreciate all the love and the support that you've given me, and uh, please. <laughs> I tried to do it, but I couldn't do it. Goodbye. <laughs> Little dabber, do you? Don't let it fool you. You yeah, don't know me. Let me just say something. Oh. Like that. Okay. Let me see your Come on now. I love basketball. Basketball is my thing. You know why I like basketball? I like Michael Jordan. Shh, don't tell nobody, especially his wife. <laughs> Michael Jordan looks nice in them shorts and stuff, and, and I hate that he's leaving basketball. The NFL, NBA, any initials he wanted to use. He's leaving basketball. And everybody's all up in the uproar. Why is Michael Jordan leaving basketball? And it's not because he wanted to leave. It's because his wife made him leave. He been missing too much church. Got to go back to church. Got to go get his first match, uh, 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 slam dunk. And then come back to the... But I'm just talking because I like Michael Jordan, okay? Okay. You gonna ask a question? <laughs> okay, I was gonna say. The church is almost over with. I am through using the bathroom. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen. I'm tired of talking to y'all. I know y'all tired of talking to me. Y'all know who you're here for, Sister Cantaloupe. You know what? I don't even care. Listen, nobody don't want to listen to me no way. You didn't even know what I look like. So I'm out of here. Goodbye. See you later. I told y'all I was leaving. Huh? Oh, you didn't think I was leaving? Well, I'm gone. Goodbye. I'm tired of talking to the camera. I'm tired of talking to these people in this room. Somebody in here breath is stinking, OK? Somebody cutting up. You need a peppermint, a Tic Tac. I don't care if you use a nail. Suck on it. I don't care. I'm getting ready to go, OK? I got to go do a show. I've got to get out here with all these people. There's so many people out there. I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous. But I'm leaving, OK? All right. Goodbye. <laughs> I see you out there. I have nothing else to say. Nothing else. Did you see my face? <laughs> Throw back your head and sing with me. Let me see your tongue. If you got one teeth, come on, clap on beat. Laugh out, laugh out, laugh, laugh, laugh out loud. Sister Cantaloupe. Laugh out loud. Sister Cantaloupe. Laugh out loud. Sister Cantaloupe. It's okay. Sister Cantaloupe, it's okay. okay. It's okay. You're right. It's okay. It's okay. The tape has stopped. Uh, the tape stopped. Twitter, they've all gone home. Do what? They the go home. The band members have left. The band? That's it. Not the little bald-headed boy that played the piano. That's my ride home. Esther, wait a minute, baby.